Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. Today I've got the craziest game for you ever, and this is thanks to Simulator Adventures. He made a video on this game a few days ago, and he actually told me about it as well. And I was like, someone has really made a game like this, it really exists. And then when I watched this video, I'm like, this actually seems like a cool game. So I wanted to try it out for myself. So like I said, I'll leave a link in in the description for Simulator Adventures video on this game and then I'm going to do my own video right now. Now I've been playing this game for a few hours and I have to say it's kind of surprisingly addictive. Now what is it? This game is called Metro Hustle, something like that, Metro Hustle. And it's it's kind of a weird idea for a game. So you, you basically start off as a train driver but it's also a life simulator so you can actually do other things outside of driving your train you can go to you can go to the casino you can go to a strip club you can do all kinds of stuff it's really really crazy and at first i'm like this is a really weird idea for a game but actually it's not you know it's surprisingly actually quite interesting now this is obviously like the base thing that you start off with it's called a derelict building and this is where you can have a shower that will improve your hygiene bar at the top of the screen you've also got the the toilet that obviously will affect your bladder you can sleep here and you can also sleep and save your game here um this is like a locker where you can store things i don't really have anything i want to store right now actually you know what um I don't even know how to store things actually to be fair move 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 I don't know anyway let's I'll work that out later I don't really know <laughs> so what we're gonna do right now is I'm first I'm I'm gonna show you like the main part of the game so the main part of the game is obviously driving a train and that rhymes but then after we've done a train journey I've I actually got a text message from someone now it's actually 10 o'clock at night right now and I got a text message so this is a phone that you have in the game if you press P this will come up and I've got a message here from this last one I know you're looking for extra cash I'm gonna open up the doors of a firm called Dodger and Bluff at Shore Tower between 5 and 8 enough time to hack into the computer behind the reception desk and get me some files. I, I will make sure that you are paid. As long as no one knows about this but me and you. More work for you later if you don't mess this up. So, Dodger and Bluff at Shore Tower. Okay. Dodger and Bluff at Shore Tower. Dodger and... So I, I'm just going to see if it exists. Oh, yeah, so Shore Tower is over there. Okay, so my idea is I'm going to, like I said, show you guys the main part of the game, which is driving the train. Um, and then after that, I'm going to see if I can try and do that, that mission. Because that's obviously a way that I can earn some extra money in the game. Now, you can actually talk to quite a lot of people in this game you can build relationships with them you can't build re relationships with that guy or that guy <laughs> um, this is a good thing for you to know you use the water fountain for free hydration you see my hydration bar now I'm sure I can talk to this person yeah so anyone that you see that has that highlight in yellow you can basically talk to them you can build up a relationship with this game Whoa, look at this guy he's super buff <laughs> you can actually like build up a relationship and everything in this game you know there's like dating and stuff so this is the main part of the game now I've I've been only on the civic line because at the beginning that's the only thing that you can do I would say it takes quite a while for you to actually move up from the civic line onto the metro line hopefully um, when I finally do that I'll be able to earn more because at the moment you kind of earn a fair bit but it's not that that much now one thing that surprises me this game is actually surprisingly surprisingly good as a train simulator if I'm honest I didn't really expect 
that it would be this good as a train simulator. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a destination computer thing on the left hand side. If I press Q here, then that will actually match up with the next stop, which should be Dominion Tower. You can see that I can do a maximum of 30 right now. And if I, if I was doing this seriously, I'll be trying to maximize my speed within the speed limit so that I could then get to a station on time. Um, because you can see there's like a timer on my screen and if I manage to get there within that timer, I think it will give me an, e an extra bonus. Um, you also will get a bonus for if you have your destination computer correctly configured at every stop. Now you can see there's a worker that's coming up here. If I was to press H or H, you see it says worker alerted. I think you also get a bonus for doing that. So here we go, we're coming up to our first station. Dominion Tower. So I'm going to be slowing down now. You will see that there are some things that happen. It will say security alert on your on the computer sometimes and if that happens then you need to phone the security using that phone there. Um, I'm trying to stop right on the stop line and then I will take off or well, I will apply my parking brake, open the doors. I like to open and close the doors manually using the buttons because it kind of gives me more of a feeling that I'm actually um, you know properly driving this this train so I'm gonna then update my the, the destination computer so that it also says Carl Expressway so I think right now we've got a speed limit is it 30 at the moment or 40 not going to go over 30 for now. Oh, it's 40. Oh, well, I don't see any workers, so I'm going to get ready to break pretty soon. Here we go. No security alert as yet. Sometimes there'll even be a fire on the train, and then all you have to do is press there's like a button which is called fire suppress fire. Okay, so as soon as I see the accelerate thing, the green thing, that thing, I close the doors, I take off the parking brake, and I'm off. Okay, gonna match my destination. So yeah, I mean, I'm actually really surprised. I mean, it isn't like the most amazing metro simulator ever, but it's actually half decent, and it'll be interesting seeing what the other lines are like. Because obviously I've had to ride this line quite a few times to try to build up my skill level so that I can actually get the license uh, for the other line I can't remember I think it's 50 right now the speed limit oh and there's some kind of police in Hong Kong that's locally that's not in the game <laughs> okay let's get ready to break and we don't have a security alert try not to crash here we go Parking brake off. Open the doors. Oh, oh! My parking brake is not on for some reason. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? There you go. It worked that time. That was a bit slow, wasn't it? Open the doors. Wait for the little green accelerate thing. Come on. Oh, there's a lot of passengers. Close the doors. Break off. Let's go. Change the destination guide. So yeah, I think I've probably had to run this same thing like maybe seven or eight times trying to get experience and I'm still quite far off. I'll probably have to run it another five or six times for me to get up to the next level in my license so I can do the other line and I'm kind of hoping that, that that's a bit more complicated and a bit more interesting because um, yeah I mean obviously this is supposed to be a fairly large part of the game I mean it's it's such a weird idea really, isn't it I know let's make a metro simulator and a life simulator combined I find that kind of funny 
Oh, I'm all, almost going to do it in time. Oh, no, not quite. It was a little bit slow on the brake there. Okay. But obviously, it's quite hard for me to make a video and be as fast as possible when I'm trying to, you know, get everything everything worked out and talking I mean you know I can't do everything at the same time really can I I, I haven't had any security alerts so far this is a 30 speed limit so let's not go any higher than 30 I'm sure there's going to be a worker maybe coming up soon maybe not no nope, no workers so we're going to start breaking early so I don't mess things up uh, I, I'm actually going way too slow. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's alright. I don't think it makes a, an absolutely massive difference if you're not that fast. Okay, so I did that in 5.24. Close the doors. And then, when your route is finished, then all you have to do is go to the route exit. So that is basically the end of the line. Just need to park up the train, basically. And yeah, I mean, I like how this this cab looks. It's kind of cool, right? I mean, yeah. Like I said, it isn't like the most amazing metro simulator. I mean, to be fair, there aren't really a lot of very good metro simulators around so this one is actually fairly decent really um, but yeah then then after this you'll see some of the kind of life aspects as well in the game so hopefully that'll be fun I haven't I haven't actually tried any of these missions in the past so it'll be very interesting to see how that goes Okay, and you can actually buy pick locks. Okay, this is this is my line completion bonus. I didn't get that much bonus today. Got quite a lot of money because I had quite a lot of passengers. And you can see I'm basically 284 skill points up to a B license. So this time I got 354. So actually, I, I just need to run it one more time in order for me to see the next line the next metro line so that's kind of cool okay so i'm quite hungry i do have some food that i got from that so let's eat our food hopefully that will help our hygiene to go up hygiene our nutrition not hygiene nothing to do with hygiene you can see i've got a beer here i don't really want to drink that right now i wonder if drinking beer will help my sanity you can see my sanity is not doing too well it's halfway so i think i need to visit a bar or something of that nature for me to actually uh, improve that okay so like i said now we're going to try to go to the shore tower so i think that's a right is it let's check yep so we're going to shore tower now i don't know how how this how this is this is going to work now Uh, so yes, so you can see here there's like a locked door. So if you were to buy a pick lock, you can then have a go at opening this. And if you open it, um, you can obviously steal things from inside and earn some money. Uh, you can see there's a police car. Now there is an area in the game where you can make narcotics, funnily enough, and then you can try to to sell them. But if if the policeman finds you and it and if you have a, a small amount of narcotics on you you can be fined and if you if they find a large amount then um, I th I'm not sure if you go to prison or there's some more you know there's some bigger um, penalty there basically okay so let's just remind ourselves of the message from that guy uh, oh is it only until five five until eight oh it's okay I still have time so I'm looking for Dodger and bluff interesting 
So I've never tried to go in here before, so let's see how this goes. Okay. Let's me in. Okay. And I mean, the graphics in this game are actually not too bad. I mean, I'm assuming this game was made by one person. I really don't know. Okay. Dodger and Bluff. How do I find out how to get to... Uh, this is a lot. I don't have to go through every floor, do I? This is a bit... Mm, Dodger and Bluff. Oh, hang on. It took me up to the 17th floor, even though I didn't ask it to. Dodger and Bluff. Uh, I don't, oh, here it is. Okay, so I think there's only one, one place. If you receive a hacking job through your smartphone, you can hack the computer or device related to the job by interacting with it. In the first stage, you'll need to enter the password highlighted in character sequence on the keyboard. In the next second stage, you must select the pattern sequence that matches the pattern highlighted in the upper box. I have no idea what that means. I'm usually really bad at these hacking things, so it's probably going to go really badly. <laughs> so anyway, but it is really cool that I that I received a job like this. I'm assuming that everything else is locked. Yeah, everything else will be pretty much locked. So let's see. Oh my goodness, this is going to go totally wrong, isn't it? What? Oh, oh, oh. What was that? I wasn't paying attention. What? Okay, stop, 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 stop. I wasn't really paying attention. Ha <laughs> ha! A S D F. Okay. Oh no, I think I have to just use the thing. Oh, that's why it wasn't working. I thought I had to physically type it on my computer. Ah. Huh? Oh. Oh. It's. I think it's. I think it's this one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I got $50. Nice. And I'm a hacker. Okay, so that wasn't too hard, actually. Usually in a lot of other... Oh, look, it's a present. Present containing lottery ticket. I got a free lottery ticket. Let's try that, then. Use. Oop. Oop. I'm assuming that you have to get three of the same, do you? Oh, so close. No, not quite. Yeah. That is what you would have won. So, you know, this game even has lottery tickets. And as you know, I do like life simulators. I mean, I've... Oh! Oh! It's not locked. Let's have, let's have a look. It's not locked. You know, like, I was on the channel. Oh, oh I can use their toilet. That's so rude, isn't it? <laughs> um, like I was saying, I have been playing on the channel... Tower Unite, and I actually really like that game. And this game is cut is a bit like that in a way, but with a Metro Train Simulator added on. Weirdly enough, I'm just checking in here just to see if there's anything in here, like any presents. I'm going to get lost though, aren't I? There's a lot of doors. Oh, oh, there's a kitchen back here. I didn't even know. Oh, computer terminal. Can't hack this. Okay, I was just seeing if there was anything. Microwave, brew coffee, coffee pods required. I mean, that's awesome that you need a coffee pod. Microwave item, cargo pants. I don't think that's going to work. Popcorn! I can microwave my popcorn! I was wondering how that works. Oh, my mind is blown right now. Look at that. That is awesome! Um, I basically bought this at... Well, I, I, I bought it in a, a cafe or in a bakery thinking I could just eat it straight away. I didn't realise you have to microwave it. That is awesome. My mind is blown. I'm going to eat that right now. So I'm assuming I, that, I, that I can eat it now. Yeah, that is so cool. That you actually buy the the popcorn and you have to put it in a microwave. Aha, that is awesome. I'm loving it. So this is the kind of thing. I mean, I love any game that has attention to detail. Can't hack this computer. So I'm assuming there's going to be later missions, maybe, where it's going to ask me to... Maybe to come back and hack these. Benjamin Buck. Ooh. No, so it basically isn't allowing me to hack anything right now. But I, I'm going to take a wild guess that this guy that sent me this SMS will send me more SMSs down the line. Ooh. 
flipping Nora. Ooh. I think it's this one. There doesn't seem to be a time limit. It would be a lot harder if there was a time limit. $75! Oh, this is awesome. I'm hacking computers. So you don't have to wait until it says, you know, until it gives you a mission. But you can just walk around and find stuff to hack. That is wicked. Nope. Okay, so I got an extra 75 for just exploring. Uh, is there more stuff that... Oh, my goodness. That's like a thingy. I already saw that one, didn't I? I'm a bit lost now, but I think I kind of know where I am. No, that's locked. Cool. My mind is blown. This is awesome. I'm loving it. So, before I stop the video, I just want to maybe show you, like, the casino and stuff. I think I'm going to play this game. So, I don't think the buttons... Yeah, I, I thought you had to actually, like, click the the number of the floor but I think it's only one floor which is fair enough I mean you know this game is I think that this game only recently came out of early access I think but yeah I think you know I think I'm gonna maybe play this game more than I might have thought because um, this is super cool man it's a life sim and everything so I wonder if there's like hidden stuff yeah so you have to explore look protein shake nice so yeah you have to explore so um hydration my hydration is a little bit low not too bad if i see a water fountain they're usually around on the sides here uh, maybe not Okay, I don't really need a tutorial by NPCs. Thank you very much. So you just basically need to talk. And this is the arcade. I suppose while we're here, we can go in the arcade. So, here we go. Now, this arcade reminds me very much of some of the arcade games in... I'm going to now be trying all the doors for computers to hack. That's funny. This is like a... It reminds me of a very small version of the arcade in... Um, in the game that I was just talking about, which I totally forgot what it's called. Tower Unite. Wow, that was a real effort, wasn't it? So, but obviously it's incredibly tiny. Like, Tower Unite is what? Three floors or, you know, there's loads of games in their arcade. This is like five games. But I can kind of see where they are going with this. And if they were to add more and everything, it might actually be kind of cool. Okay, Slam Dunk. We got Slam Dunk. What's this? Moonshot. How would that work? Okay, let's try. Launch. What? Oh, you have to stop it. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> anyway, I won two tickets. Okay, let's try it again. That's really hard. Play game, one dollar. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I did that totally wrong. What? This is way too hard for me. Ah. Okay, five. Okay, so I see the idea that you have to get as close to ten. That's really hard, though. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit slow on the uptake there. Play game. Oh, drop ball. Oh, that's cool. So this one is a little bit more random, but you just have to try to time it, I suppose. Oh, is that it? You only get... One, one turn. So I'm kind of winning some tickets here. Okay, I, you know, I, I kind of like that. So yeah, and then basically you can actually buy stuff in the shop here. We've got the prize shop. So I, for example, for a plushie, I need 2,500 tickets. So there is quite quite a lot of tickets you can buy glow stick I'm not quite sure why you'd need that anyway um, and you can actually buy food so I have 37 tickets I'm not sure I could afford any of this stuff yet can I no I've only got 30, 37 tickets but anyway I would probably try to save up 
for a plushie or something of that nature. I mean, because everything else is not that exciting. I wonder what I'm, I wonder which one I'd go for. Turtle, tiger. So I suppose that you'd have this in your home, wouldn't you? I'd, I would maybe go for the the crocodile one. Look at that, maybe. Anyway. So yeah, it's kind of cool. It's an interesting idea. And I believe maybe playing these games will help my sanity, I think. Because you can see that my sanity bar is still a bit low. Um, am I? Yes. Okay. Yes, hydration. I, I need to hydrate. So let's hydrate. And then I'm going to show you the casino. And then I think that that will be enough for today's video. Oh, I can see a little thing over here. Water fountain. Here we go. So we're going to hydrate so we get full hyd hydration. And then I think I might need to go home and sleep soon because my hygiene is quite low, isn't it? Okay, I think that's enough for now. Maybe I should go to the bar. I believe there's a bar. Because um, I think that will help my sanity. How much money have I got? 691 so I have a fair bit of money I could rent a house there are houses you see like this apartment you can rent out but I don't really want to spend a lot of money on that until maybe I'm earning a bit more the bounce house uh, should I be going in here now right let me have a look before before I go, before I go in here the bounce house I'm hoping it's just a nightclub <laughs> Is there like a bar, just a regular bar, something that's just called a bar? I don't see anything that's called a bar. Porsche, casino, cafe, no. Okay, we, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it, give it a go. Be prepared to see something interesting. Okay, hopefully it's just a bar, nightclub. I wanna relax. The bounce house. Oh, yeah, I think it's just a nightclub. Hello, matey. You can actually, like, talk to him. How are we doing tonight? Uh, $20 cover charge. Can I at least peek through the door first? Ain't no peeking through no doors at this club. Ah, so this is basically a strip club, then. You don't have to try to intimidate me. I'm just here to blow my paycheck and pass out. Is it true you can always judge a strip club by its bouncers? I ain't heard none of that talk before, but I can bet you're going to have a good time in there, in here. Okay, let's give it a go then. Pay the cover. Here we go. So yeah, so I I can absolutely guarantee this video is going to get um, a copyright strike on it now. Actually, in this game, there's no way for me to turn off the music. That's an interesting slot machines, so there are slot machines also in the, the casino. Um, now this game does have a free DLC, <laughs> the Bounce House, which is an adult one, which I believe will be more like adult in nature, but as you can see, um, without that, it's, you know, perfectly safe for work and all that. So let's buy a beer. Now I'm hoping this might help my... Oh, champagne. How much is champagne? There we go. Sanity. It'll give me plus 10 sanity. Okay, let's have a glass of champagne. We are classy. We are a classy dude right here. What is that? Oh, it's, that's the protein shake. Here we go. Glass of champagne. Let's, let's use it. Yay, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit drunk now. Hi there, how are you doing? Why are you drinking coffee? This is a bar. This is the bounce house. I mean, seriously. Okay, so I'm now slightly drunk. I suppose, I wonder if you can sit down. No, you can't. They seem to be having fun. Can you actually change the jukebox? You can. Six dollars to play a new song. Okay. No, that didn't work. 
I think someone said, I think I saw it in the forums that you can actually add your own music for you to, for you to play here. No, I'm not going to go through that because it says XXX. If you want to go through that, maybe you need to buy the game and go through by yourself. Um, I was hoping this might be the... Where was the toilet? I definitely saw a toilet, didn't I? Oh, maybe I just have to go home. Oh, here it is. Because after having that glass of champagne... Uh, okay, that's great. Where's the actual toilet then? Is it through here? Yes. Cool. I think we needed that after... Uh, that's a bit weird. You can see in the mirror the back of someone. Is that me? I don't think it's me. Oh, look. Sink. Cool. Okay, so before I get completely sidetracked, and I'm going the wrong way, before I get completely sidetracked, hello, mate. Thanks for that. That was fun. I'm going to show you the casino. And then after that, I think that should be enough for this video. So I'm sure... You I'm sure that you can see why I'm quite um, excited about this game. It's actually kind of cool, and I could actually see myself playing it a fair bit, surprisingly enough. Okay, let's look, let's look, let's look at the map. Um, I'm going to the casino. Okay, all the way along here. I mean, it isn't like the biggest map in the world or anything, but I can like totally see myself hey this this dude is vibing out the uh, the nightclub is down there mate you know that might be good a good place for you but yeah like I can see myself totally playing this game and it's insane that I'd never heard of, heard of this game it's been out for like two years in a, a early access I think but I had never heard of it and that's the crazy thing with Steam. There's so many games on there that you'll just hear all of a sudden and you'll be like, oh, it opens at 5. No. And it's only 12.50. Okay. You know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to actually sleep. And then I, then, then I will come back and show you the casino. The cool thing is you can actually access on your phone some kind of um, slots. Look. See this? See? So you can actually on the go do some of that stuff that is pretty cool right okay and there's other functions from the phone you can use it to rent out an apartment obviously there is the the messaging that you saw before you do have stamina in this game as you can see my stamina is not very good right now because I've been running too much but I will I would really love to know what you think of this game. You can leave a comment under the video. I mean, it's very weird at first when you think about a metro simulator. Oh yeah, so this is the narcotic thing I was saying about earlier. There isn't really anything exciting and I'm not sure how you do it. You basically buy ingredients and you then would come here. Yeah, there you go. And you'd add the ingredients and you would then make all the narcotics. I, I will probably show you that in a future video. But, you know, it's just to show you that that area exists. Good thing about the map being so small is I can kind of remember quite easily how to get home. Da, da, da. Right. So, here we go. I'm going to have a shower, go to sleep, maybe go to the toilet quickly, have a shower, take shower. I, I'm almost like a bit of a, a night shift worker because <laughs> I'm, yeah, like at the beginning I was just um, on the old metro so much trying to skill up that I ended up just driving through the night and all that. Oh look, there's some cereal down there. Nice, I like cereal. Okay, so let's look at the time. It should be, yes, look at that, 5.05. .05. So now we're gonna go show you the casino and that'll be the final thing. I'm sure this video ended up way longer than I thought it was gonna be. So if you managed to stay this long, well done. You are a true OG, as they like to say. 
Um, oh, this. Oh no, that is the bounce house. I thought there was another bar, but no, I think that's. The, I think that's the only one. I don't know. I kind of need to ex explore more of the map. I'm sure there's other stuff, other fun stuff that I could do. And it'll be interesting when I can finally buy or rent out a nice apartment. Then you can actually buy furniture in the furniture store. I'm really tired now. There's a lot of policemen in this town. Porsche. I don't know what this Porsche is about. Is it like a jewellery shop or something? Fashion, accessories, jewellery. Oh, so, you, so this is where you can probably buy new clothes and stuff. Uh, okay, I have no idea what she's doing there. That's a bit creepy, isn't it? Okay, so hopefully the casino is open. I'll just show you some stuff. Okay, so I should actually have a lot more money than I have. I only have 653 because I would keep coming here trying to earn more by betting and would usually end up losing all my money. So I'm going to show you on the $5 table. There's a $5, $5 table, a $50 table, and a $100. So I'm going to show you on this that, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's that I'm really bad at this game or if it is just, um, it's a bit weird. There you go, stand. Win, okay. And I bet that when I'm on the five, oh, so you can increase it. I didn't even realize. Okay, so this one you can obviously increase in five, in, in increments of five or increments. Oh, that's also five, okay. So it just starts at a different amount, fair enough. But yeah, it's in a, as soon as I'm on the five dollar table, I bet I start winning a lot. <laughs> okay. I lost again. Anyway, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend, unless you're really good at this game, I wouldn't recommend you come in here to lose all your money <laughs> on this game. Uh, and then they have this game, which is basically a horse racing game. Oh, hang on. We're going to bet on... No, next race. Come on. Why is it not showing me... Oh, here we go. We're going to... Uh, who came... We're going to go for... Old Whiskey. We're going to bet Old Whiskey... $10? Yeah. So then, after you do that, you see I'm Old Whiskey. $10, so that's my horse. Yellow 16, whichever one that is. I think it's the one on the very end there. And then the the, uh, the race will count down, and then yeah, we'll actually see if I manage to win. I'm gonna beat you, matey. You have no chance. What? Oh, <laughs> I wonder if I can say that. Uh, get the hell out of my way. You're standing in my favourite spot. <laughs> I like his response. Oh, the race is on. Come on, old whiskey. You can do it, old whiskey. I don't think old whiskey's winning. Come on, old whiskey. 16. Where's 16? Yeah, is that in there? Oh, come on, old whiskey. You're slow as. You're like almost last. Speed it up, son. No, I totally lost there, I think. Yeah, I came last. Fabulous. Love this game. So yeah, then we got a spinner, but I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough for the spinner. I need more money, I think. Let me try it. Oh no, I can spin it. Okay. I'm probably going to get zero because that seems to be my luck. Come on. Okay, 25. I'm going to try that again. See, it's so addictive. Come back later. Okay, so it only gives you one spin. Interesting. Then we all of these um, slot machines. I think they're all exactly the same it's just there's a different theme it's basically that the icons are slightly different I think that's about it so you click on it and you go to bet one or two or three I'm gonna go for bet three so I hope this is how you can win some money oh I won three dollars and you can just basically keep doing this 
Oh, lucky me. Okay, I'm going to stop there before I start losing. So, yeah, I mean, like, it's... Again, it's a bit like a kind of simpler, smaller version of the, the casino in Tower Unite. And obviously, this game is also a single player rather than a multi I can see that, that I could find this interesting. And I'm sure there's lots of other things in the game that I could do, like to earn some money. I'm sure that the game is going to get more interesting. Uh, but the more that I earn and things like that. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and again, thanks a lot to Simulator Adventures for basically introducing me to this game because I'd never heard of it before and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.